Today's affiliate sponsor is Solo.to. Nothing frustrates me more than taking the time to record videos for social media and saying, check the link up in my bio, only to realize that I forgot to update the link. I just keep thinking about all of those people who went to the page to look at my bio only to be disappointed. Solo.to is a versatile link that you can use in your social media bios and everywhere to better connect your audience across any platform. Add all of your links, social media accounts, and contact buttons to one beautifully responsive page. With Solo.to, you can embed videos and podcasts right on your page, and they automatically update when you post new episodes. It's truly amazing. Gone are the days where I have to add each episode link to my bio. I know that once it's published, it's everywhere. I can even get analytics on what clicks got the most pages or pages got the most clicks. You know what I'm saying. If you need an example, check out my solo.to page linked in all of my social media bios, especially Instagram at DJ Tracy Trees. Never miss a click or a client. Try solo.to today. Click the link in the show notes to receive 10% off of your membership. Let's get to today's show. You are listening to your auntie's favorite DJ, DJ Tracy Trees. Happy Hump Day and welcome back to What The Pod. I go by the name of DJ Treasy Tree Show, auntie's favorite DJ and now your fairy pod mother. Welcome to What The Pod, the podcast that recommends new shows for you to listen to. It's Wednesday. I'm feeling good. I'm halfway through the week. It seems like it's just flying by. I got some new podcasts for today. A little bit of nostalgia. I'm catching up on some some sports because um, I haven't had a chance to catch any of the games. So I just kind of want to briefly touch on some sports and keep my knowledge up to date on that. And then I'm uh, going back in time with some uh, 90s shows, it looks like. All right, so let's jump right into the show. The first podcast that I'm listening to today is called Business Wars. Now, um, before I read this let me read the episode. Um, I'm sorry, the actual podcast description. It says, wow, that went away. Okay, new episodes come out every Monday and Wednesday for free with one week early access on, of course, Wondery Plus. Wow, they put it at the beginning now. I can't even read stuff. But it says Netflix versus HBO, Nike versus Adidas. Business is war. Sometimes the prize is your wallet or your attention. Sometimes it's just a fun of beating the other guy. The outcome of these battles shapes what we buy and how we live. Business Wars gives you the unauthorized real story of what drives these companies and their lenders, investors, inventors, and executives to new heights or to ruin. And it says it's hosted by David Brown, former anchor of Marketplace, and it comes from the Wondery Network. So the episode that I'm listening to is entitled blackberry versus iphone crackberry now what drew me to this is the picture of the blackberry curve that is in the episode uh cover art love it love it love it i was a big blackberry user from the beginning of blackberry times like i mean i was in middle school i had a blackberry i was using bbm i had all every i had the pearl i just recently got rid of my blackberry like a year ago not even kidding i had a blackberry passport i got it unlocked off ebay and put a sim card in it so you know i'm committed to the blackberry movement i love blackberry so much because they still had a qwerty keyboard sometimes you just want to touch the keys i got sweaty fingers man i'm typing fast i got hella typos grammarly is not helping me like it needs to so let me read this episode description it says business wars blackberry versus iphone it's September 11th, 2001. Oh my God. And the only network running in downtown New York City is the one owned and operated by Blackberry Manufacturer Research in Motion. Now, this is another thing that Blackberry did. Blackberry did well. 
they made their phones to do 4G, 3G, and 2G. So it was basically like carrying around a flip phone, a kind of advanced flip phone, and then a smartphone. It was lit. They were the only people who understood, understood that sometimes you just needed to get off 4G because 2G was faster. You just needed a phone call. You didn't need a text message or MMS or nothing like that, right? So, um... Continuing this, it says one of the most devastating days in American history that unique reliability wins, R.I.M., new fans of Wall Street to Capitol Hill. Now, if you remember, a lot BlackBerry had a lot of government contracts, too, because it was one of the most secure phones out. I mean, like everything was already encrypted and they had a password a manager before it was even popular to keep your passwords under lock and key. So I'm excited to check this one out, y'all. Check this out with me. It's a podcast entitled Business Wars, and the episode is BlackBerry versus iPhone Join With Me. Now, the next podcast that I'm listening to today is um, Skip and Shannon Undisputed Podcast. Now, Skip and Shannon Sharp, are they host a show called Undisputed on like Fox Network and other, they're just sports casters if you will shannon sharp is hilarious i think his instagram presence is phenomenal i'm looking for a sports podcast to quickly catch me up to date on everything i mean mlb nhl um nba wow and nfl eh, not so much um this specific episode is come is talking about obj's ram debut which i want to hear about because it makes no sense that he would be released at all right talks about the Bulls and Lakers Lonzo LaMelo says NFL and MVP race I really don't care about the NFL at all I really don't care about basketball until it gets down the wire I, I really don't have the patience for all of these you know uh, regular season games but I do care about the like highlights this episode is I think it's like an hour it's an hour and 54 minutes under no circumstance would I listen to this whole episode, I think. I don't think. Unless I listen to it in like 1.5 time. I'm really just looking for the highlights. But who knows? I might like this show. Shannon Sharp gives great commentary. He's hilarious and he keeps it moving. So uh, I might like this one. So y'all check this out with me. The episode is entitled Full Show. And it's like OBJ's Ram debut in Blowout Lost to 49ers. The link is going to be down in the description. And then the last podcast that I'm checking out today is one that uh, the retro cover art got me. It's called 90s Court, y'all. And what they do with this podcast is they take things from the 90s that might have common themes and they put them head to head against each other. So the specific episode I'm listening to is episode 95, Pepper Ann versus Angela Anaconda. And I just want to listen to it because I don't know who the hell Angela Anaconda is, but she cannot be better than Pepper Ann because Pepper Ann, Pepper Ann. I mean, who grew up listening and watching one, uh, one Saturday morning? There was nothing better than Pepper Ann. She was cool, even though the whole premise was that she wasn't so cool. I mean, she skateboarded to school. She was late. The bell was ringing. She was just rolling in. Like, Pepper Ann was one of my favorite cartoons as a kid. Let's read this episode description. It says, 90s Court is trying the case of Angela Anaconda versus Pepper Ann this week. Are you all about Pepper Ann's glorious red locks? Or are you all about helping Angela Anaconda get back at Nanette? I'm not helping nobody do nothing, okay? And as you can see, Pepper Ann had glorious red locks. You hear how they use that word? It's no doubt that Pepper Ann won that one. Now, this one is this podcast is a good one, it seems like, to just bring back some nostalgia, have some easy listening. Remember some of these old pastimes. It looks like they have a Patreon page. Uh, which is cool to you know to, to subscribe not subscribe but to support the show it seems like a really cool concept and there's a 90s quiz in there somewhere so definitely check out 90s court i'm checking out episode 95 pepper Ann versus angela anaconda and the link is going to be below that is it for today folks i suggest you listen to these podcasts with me and let me know what you think on my social media i appreciate you joining me to get no talk i can't even talk i appreciate you joining me today thank you so much for listening to what the pod i go by the name of dj treacy trees your auntie's favorite dj and now your fairy pod mother it would mean the world to me if you would get on apple Podcasts. just boot up the app okay 
search what the pod question mark with Teresa Trees. Hopefully you listening on uh, Apple. I even take some reviews on Spotify. Wherever the hell you listening to this at, give me five stars and some kind words, please. I need my show to grow. I love entertaining y'all and I want to make sure that I can continue this show. So get on there and give me five stars. Let the world know you love me. And make sure you follow me on Instagram at DJ Teresa Trees. That's at DJ T-R-I-C-E-Y. T-R-I-C-E. I will see you Thursday. Quick reminder, I'm going live on Friday with a summary of all of these and telling you my favorite podcast and listening to some. That'll be on Twitch, YouTube, everywhere. Make sure you follow me. All links below. I'll see y'all tomorrow with my podcast.